Hey, before this video starts, I just want to say, if you want to support me more, go follow me over at Twitch at twitch.tv slash RetroMarioTwitch. And make sure to subscribe here on the YouTube channel, because I would love to get a silver play button, I would love to see 100,000 subscribers. Anyway, enough of me taking up your time, enjoy the video. Chasing after you is, uh, quite the hassle. It's quite the hassle. But now I got you here. All by yourself. Aren't I just lucky? <laughs> Hi. Oh, you really think that I was gone? You thought that I would just disappear? <laughs> You're mistaken. I never left. I was just merely in hiding. Waiting for the right time to come out and get my revenge. So, here I am, for my revenge. You know, this is the same knife that my friends used on their victims. He's a good friend of mine, and well, Although, he's in America now, because, well, he was quite dangerous and had a lot of people who could bail him out at any time, anywhere. He has a lot of followings. So he went to America because most of his following is from there. And he sent me over this little pocket knife as a souvenir. Although, it was rather dirty when it did come into the mail. So I washed it up a little bit, and now it's good as new. <laughs> he left me a letter in there as well. And that letter said, Please take this knife as a souvenir of my friendship to you, Izuku. Although it might be a tad bit dirty due to all the things that I have done to my victims before sending this over to you. So, he sees me as a friend and sends me over his brilliantly made pocket knife so I can use it against people that I don't like. Isn't that nice? Friends sharing things with each other. It's like the friends I remember I had back when I was a hero. Back when everyone saw me as this beacon of light. But now... That beacon has no light inside of it. That beacon is permanently dimmed. Because of the path that I chose without telling anybody. Just leaving and doing my own thing led me to this. It led me to finding you again, pet. You don't have to worry about 
where I have you. Just know that you're safe for now. You're safe until you start acting up. Because if you do, well, I can tell you it's not going to be very pretty for you. <laughs> You're funny, pet. You're really funny. You think you can intimidate me with your tiny little words that you're speaking to me. Listen to me when I tell you this, Pet. I'm sick and tired of you getting away from me. I'm sick and tired of trying to hunt you down and get you back where you belong. So I brought you to this place to make sure that you can't go anywhere. You're my property. No one else is. Do I make myself clear? Pet. Good. You seem more obedient now that I have spoken a little, little in a bit more of a sharper tone. You can't handle my violence, can you? Oh, the things, the things that I want to do to you are unspeakable to humans. Nor even any type of living creature would want to go through that type of torture that I have planned for you, pet. Because you decided to get on my bad side, running away, and making sure that you cannot be found. Or even you become a hero, like I did. And then you'll see the trueness, the true colors of what heroism actually is. Merely just a paycheck and popularity throughout the few thousands that are here in Japan. Nor even the few thousand, the few millions that are in Japan as of right now. That's all heroism is to those people. Money and popularity. Although... That's how society really is nowadays. It's just money and popularity. I see better for myself and other people as well. I see myself more as an emperor of some sorts. A ruler in it some aspects, if you will. So... In short, I want to become an underground warlord. And I'm going to be known across all of the underground. And you are going to be one of my first people I hire in my underground business chain. Oh, but I can make you. I can, really, because if you don't work with me, I'll make sure that when the police find your chunked body, they won't even be able to recognize what you are. You work for me now, pet. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. You're mine. End of story. So, I hope you enjoy your new home. You will be fed. You will be watered, clothed, even. 
as long as you can do your job and don't piss me off. Okay? Good. Now get some rest, Pat. You have quite the day ahead of you tomorrow. For you have your first mission with me. To show that the underground has a new warlord in it. Sleep well, Pat. <laughs>